bread crumbs as the name suggests that uh, it is like uh, leaf traces or breads pieces some website like uh, e-commerce website use these always uh, because there are so many pages so many things to go across okay uh, in many cases we have seen that when we search for something in a website like these uh, sometimes user found it very confusing where i am where you, i have to go so these breadcrumbs helps you so much like this this is breadcrumb that i have came from here i know i am on the langas and this is uh, the my parent link and this is the root links they make navigation easier for the user for the uh, search engine blogger any website and these breadcrumbs are very useful for user they encourage people to visit more pages breadcrumbs are an important part of almost every website so these little navigational ads don't just tell people where they are on your website but they also help google or any search engine work out how your site is structured okay so how the pages are linked to one another that is why it makes a lot of sense to add these helpful little pointers these are the pointers simple pointers so this is a simple text path which a user can use to navigate your website or any search engine can use so if you want to do seo of your website then breadcrumbs are very essential thing you have to create them if you don't know the breadcrumbs how to create if you are not a programmer if you are only a seo then tell the programmer create the breadcrumbs let's see how to create them first we have to go to the master page as like i have this master page because on every page this is not possible to on every page to create the breadcrumbs your other pages are going to inherit from the master page as many as master pages you have this code is for master page okay here you can see this body starts from here and this is the first thing navigation navigation means your top bar so this is your uh, top bar the navigation system like in this website you can see here the this is the nav bar and after the nav bar this is the breadcrumbs the text link chain we have to create it after nav this is the nav i have started and after nav here this is the content placeholder before the content placeholder after the nav we have to add here sitemap here you can see the both things come in front of you that sitemap data source one data source this is important in the navigation sitemap path so we have both things here now so in the sitemap path uh, some properties we have to set here in that sitemap path like this website this is the path you can see here so uh, what is the this is the separator slash is the separator you can use slash or colon or you can have the greater than sign write path separator assign here your path separator like slash or greater than or double colon you can define anything for the path separator okay so this is the path separator and next thing is and many properties you can set here uh, one property is render current node render current node as link uh, you can see in this website this is the current node I, when i'm clicking on this nothing happens this is not a link but this these are the links so you can define it here that render current node as link is false means current node is not we have like a link and this is the sitemap data source here we can define one property uh, so starting node you can see here so starting node you can see here like in this starting node this is a starting node so if you want to have this a node in every chain then set it true that's it and you can use many properties to 
style it like current node style back color border width font bold many things when you style it okay path separator style border style back color these are the simple things you can style so after this these two important sitemap data source and sitemap path what we have to do is to add the web.sitemap this is different from sitemap.xml this is not sitemap.xml uh, which is for search engines and for crawling our website this is some different for breadcrumb how to add it right click on our website click on add new item search here sitemap web.sitemap add this this is the root node sitemap xmlns okay and this is child node what is the difference between this node and this node this is very important to understand i show you with this example okay let's see this is home page okay and on home page there are pages jobs aptitude question answers tutorial how to and downloads so this is the chain home and child pages and again if you go to another page this is the tutorial page and in the tutorial you go to the c it inherited from the home so in the home you have the tutorial and in the tutorial you have this page so this chain has to be drawn here you can understand here that the how to go to the how to and this is page of how to and i am going to this page so you can see here this gaming path that spx this page is from this folder and from this folder okay this is the chain this is home and home how to and gaming and gaming path that spx okay again in the how to i am uh, clicking on this understand this that home how to and again gaming and another page if i am going to downloads then what is this chain this is from home but another chain starts home and downloads not how to so these are these type of chains you have to create in sitemap so when we understand this uh, that every page in this website is inherited from the home base means is the child page of the home page but every page in this website is not is the child page of tutorial or how to okay child pages of tutorials are different child pages of how to are different but child pages of home are same these are the child pages of home so you have to draw it here clear that you have to get one parent node home so the url of home page here is my home page default.aspx and title and what is the description main root home page this is our parent node means main home and under this we have one two three four five five chains so understand this we have the folders here downloads how to jobs question and answers and tutorial one two three four five total five links total five folders okay so tutorial root folder and tutorials forward slash always tutorial home base okay next is question answers and next is jobs okay and the next is how to and the next is downloads control a control k d so this is how we have created one chain starting now you have to understand the next chain if you understand the next chain then you can understand this whole breadcrumbs process 
this is my tutorial channel you can see in this tutorial this tag is ending here and what we have to do we have to create the chain of tutorial delete this forward slash i am ending this node here okay so this is tutorial node now uh, in the home page this is default.aspx these are on the home chain but in the tutorial the different chain is under here first see the whole thing i am going to run this website This is our breadcrumb. Going to home page, tutorial. Now I'm going to extend it. So in the tutorial, you can see here other pages. These are our pages. So here on this page, if I am uh, clicking on the C and onto next, here is another page, the C course path, that ASPX. So now what do we do that in the tutorial we have to go that page C course path you can see here this page has all these links again these pages are the child page of this page okay so we have to create this a node first. We go to the C and after this C course path. C is the folder only. C course path page. This page has the another links. So now again we have to create ending tags separately for this to contain the child tags. So in this we have all these pages. Also change the titles and descriptions. So now in this node, we have to create those pages. So those examples are enough for you. I think so I'm going to run it again. So I'm going to tutorial and you can see here the breadcrumb to back. And now I'm going to see. So here you can see. And if you have the master pages, more than one, then go to other master pages. This is the nav and after nav. And copy here. You can change the ID, sitemap, data source. This is our breadcrumb. Uh, we have not applied any style to it. So I'm going to uh, show you some CSS styles, some bootstrap styles actually. I've shown you that there are many attributes you can set here to style it. But some CSS classes, some bootstrap classes, they are also awesome. So this is sitemap path. So here you can see this current node style. If you want to give it a back color border color border style these are things but there is also a css class you can define as you can give it a css class also this is very great thing current node style css class i'm going to just write breadcrumb here you can see there are two classes two bootstrap classes and apart it you have thousands of classes thousands of css classes uh, you can apply okay so i am going to take it breadcrumb item because this is a, a node this is a separate item breadcrumb current node means current page but i am going to give it a extra class active okay breadcrumb item active so one more class i am going to show you now i'm going to apply a class 
on the whole sitemap path, the whole navigation text. CSS class and breadcrumb. This is not item, only breadcrumb. This is not item, this is totally total text. And now I'm going to save it and refresh the page. Wow, great. Here you can see the whole row is highlighted. So this is how you can apply the classes on it. So I practice it, check more classes, style your breadcrumb. So friends, this is all. If you like this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching guys. See you. Bye-bye.